Good morning, everybody. I, I, you know, I gotta stop saying good morning because I'm not sure where you are or where I am. Wait a minute. I'm not sure where I am. That's not a good, good thing. I misspoke. I know where I am, but I don't know where you are. All right, now that we got that uh, silliness out of the way, let's get to Washington State COVID-19. Here's the new data. Well, new data is I've gotten it off of the uh, health department. And again, let me point that out. All my numbers. Now, Washington State, I have not done a video on. I believe I did a small podcast but on it, but I did not do a, uh, a video on it. But all my numbers come from your Department of Health. So this is not a, uh, a CNN or Fox or, or uh, um, OAN or Newsmax or um, NTD. Um, I'm trying to think of all the outlets. New York Times. You know what I'm saying? It's not coming from any of that. It only comes from the Department of Health of your state. Apologize when I don't look at the camera. Those of you who are new to watching me, a lot of my videos I do while I'm driving my truck on the road, uh, going to and fro wherever I'm going. But uh, so, and when you tell me, if you say to me, well, they could be wrong. Well, then the CDC is wrong. See, we get we get into this little game, which is a game that will be lost by those who want to have fear. The only way to win is with hope. I'm not sure how many people in this world have ever survived um, or had a longevity running on fear. Running on fear, you're running on empty. That's how I'm looking at it. So, let me get to the point. Senior citizens. Now, other people, I will be doing a podcast. I do have a podcast. It's called Stats for the People. So, it's Stats for the People. Um, I have not done one in a little bit. It's been about a week or so. I'm going to get back to it. Um, and, and that'll get up and back up and running again. I was in the process of buying a new home, moving into a home, so I could you know, be in debt for the next 30 years of my life. It's a joke, sorry. But 86.9%, uh, 86.9% of senior citizens in Washington State who get COVID survive, not die survive now again 86.9 that's one of my lower numbers that I've come across other than Connecticut and New Mexico um, many states are above 90% 90% so uh, Connecticut is I think 86.8% by the end of today I'm pretty sure there'll be 86.9 to be honest with you it's trending that direction before the vaccine New Mexico I think was 86.9% also um, so they're tied with Washington. So 86.9%. Interesting thing about Washington, though. Um, 233,000 uh, cases. Sorry, turning off my heat a little high. 233,000 cases. And and I apologize for not having the paperwork in front of me. 3,184 deaths. Came out to about 1.3%. So 1.3% of the positive cases led to death. That's a, and again, nobody wants to see anybody die. It's inevitable. We know that. Um, that's a good number, though. That is an excellent number. It's one of the lower numbers of, uh, when it comes to the percentage ratio. 1.3% of all people who get COVID pass away. And 86.9% of the, the uh, senior citizens who get COVID survive come on man we know we know we just know i wish more people would take off uh, their masks in certain areas there's times to wear it don't get me wrong there's times to wear it you're in the healthcare industry i don't have a problem with that people say oh, you're an anti-masker yeah going to cumbies going to duncan sure am not wearing it i almost sound like what was it uh the Bush or Pro used to sell it. Not gonna do it. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not wearing it. You want to ban me and kick me out? Go for it. I'm fine with it. That's that's okay. I don't have an issue. So 86.9 percent of senior citizens who get COVID-19 in Washington State survive, not die. Survive. That is awesome. It's great. 
All right, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you tuning into this video. Have an awesome day. God bless. Make sure you tell somebody today that they have a high chance of living.